Hey, lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Starfield. Bringing your constellation Lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Who you call him, Lackey? Come to. Huh. What? The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a window. <laughs> okay, did not expect that to work. I would have blasted the boat here. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, um, let's start off by talking to Sam Co. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what she's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. And you must be Sam Coe, the Freestar Collective expert. Don't overwhelm me with welcome now. I might never leave. <laughs> I'm trying to keep things professional, if that's what you mean. Speaking of family, you two related? Um, I can answer that. That's her. That's his daughter. <laughs> um... Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. <laughs> Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Good to meet you, Cora. Glad to see someone so young taking an interest in space. No offense, but not sure I feel comfortable taking a kid into danger. <laughs> Aren't you a little young to be a space explorer? Um, glad to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Only that it was in Freestar Collective Space. Not much anything that gets me out there works for me. Um, only that it was in Freestar Collective Space. Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. I'm ready. Let's get to it. I'm still getting my bearings. Let's head out later. Anything I should know about Aquila? Yeah. Don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. I'm ready. Let's get to it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. I'm gonna steal this sandwich. Okay, let's go... Um check out if I we can research anything with the quarters available to you. I don't think we can because we haven't really put any skills in there but we might be able to do a couple things so the research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects each research project requires materials in order to make progress the materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench um so there are five categories you can make things from it's pretty straightforward um, on the left are the projects on the right are the materials you need and it will flash yellow if you have that material available. So if you click into it um, and you scroll down, it will be yellow if you have the stuff that you need. Um, in the center, it also shows you how many you have in your inventory. So I have zero out of zero for any of these. Um, I have three out of three for the antimicrobial. antimicrobial. Sometimes when you're making things, um, you'll come up with a sudden development, like an aha moment, and you will be able to get um, like additional resources when you're researching. Um, so research progress overflow will be distributed through other aspects of the project. So you can see that because of the overflow, because of our aha moment, we also made two amino acids. 
So that kind of auto completed for us. And then aluminum. So now our project is complete, which means we can make medical treatment one um, at a biochemistry station, um, but we need to get chemistry one in order to make medical treatment two. Um, so it's nice because if you see on this top performance enhancement, it has like the green slash lines that shows you you're still working on it, you're still researching it, but you don't have any of the materials for it right now. Um, the yellow slashy means that you have some of the materials that you can use for it. So we've got one bread and we've got all the meats that we need. And because of overflow, we got two breads and one cheese. So now all we need is to find one more cheese for that. We have lots of fiber for that. And overflow gave us a spice. And then we have three alkalines, so we can make that. No overflow. Okay, let's go to our outpost development. Um, I like to use these just to get, just to use some resources up because like I said, I collect everything. So um, I kind of make what I can. All right, so we got another zero wire and some adaptive frame from our overflow. And we have all of our sealant that we need. So because of our overflow, this is done. So now we can make manufacturing one, in theory, um, when we build an outpost. And we got two structural and two ornamentals from that, and that completed our project. I love when that happens. We have a lot of aluminum. <laughs> And we got two zero wire for that, and that finished the project. Nice. So obviously a lot of this is blocked because we don't have the skills for it yet. We got two sealant from that, which completed our project. And what else can we do? Okay, we got some nickel and some sealant. So nickel is done, now we just need to do the sealant. And grip and stock mods are done. We got some chlorosiline, silanase. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. And we were able to finish that up as well. Nice. Wow, we got a lot done already. Holy crap. Okay. So you can get a lot of the big stuff that you need from ships that you destroy. Um, but now that we've researched that, all that did was taught us the ability to make those, so we'd still have to make them. So in the pharmaceutical lab, um, we learned how to make um, medical one. So I don't know, probably something like this. But we still have to actually make it ourselves. Um, I don't think I really still need to make any of these. Uh, let's see, is this the, that's the weapon workbench? Let's see what we can do here. If anything. Okay, so we can make a long barrel, which increases the accuracy, recoil, and range, but it makes it heavier. That's okay, let's do that. Dialing in your weapon for maximum efficiency. Smart. She likes that. All right, I'm not gonna mess with this too much. I just kind of want to show you what that was like. So, um, it does take a lot of a lot of resources to do things. It's not something that you can just get done very quickly. It's kind of a slow process you have to work towards. Um, All right, I'm not gonna do that side stuff yet because I wanna focus on the main mission here. So this is gonna be an example of we can't jump here yet because it's too far. 
Uh, so if it's too far, you'll get this red line. Or if it's a route you haven't taken yet, you have to stop at the different planets you need to stop at along the way before you can actually go there. So because we haven't been to Bernard Star yet, which is where we'd need to grab jump from in order to go, we have to go to Bernard Star first. Um, so that was kind of confusing. And you'll find a couple of times, like the route looks really weird. Like, um, let's see, the star over here. Oh no, that's a bad example. Where's the one where it goes kind of crazy? Okay, like this. So it looks like you could just be like, boop, jump there, but you have to like jump in this route in order to get there because we haven't ever been there before. So there's like specific paths you have to take. And once you have that path, you can just fast travel there. But before you can do that, we have to jump here, then we have to jump here, then we have to jump here, then we have to jump here. And I don't feel like they really explained that um, very well. So that's part of it. And then also you only have a certain amount of fuel. You never have to refill your fuel. But um, if you see the yellow bar fuel consumption, I can't jump that far because it uses too much fuel and I don't have enough fuel for that. So um, now you can see that the fuel consumption is only like halfway up so we can make this jump. And then from here we can jump somewhere else where we can jump somewhere else. And those are all upgrades that you can make so that you don't have to do that as much. Well, actually, I might as well scan that. Because I'm here. It also tells you, like, when you're in the area, when you're hovering over it, it tells you who controls this. So this area that I just landed in is owned by the Freestar Collective. So now I can click on Cheyenne, and I can jump there. Thanks for the warning about Altair. My name isn't Charlie. Why are you calling me Charlie 3? Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and hoo <laughs> boy! Spacers all over the damn place there. Distress call, yammering nonstop. Something big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game, this we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? It might be I can help them out. You were lucky you were lucky to make it out of there. What did the distress call say? Oh, it sounded bad. Real bad. But I had my own problems. I had to plot a course out before the spacers took out my grav drive. Sorry, I'm just not constitutionally capable of the big space fight thing. <laughs> well then you were lucky you made it out of there. Okay, so we just got a side mission, but we will worry about that later. All right, take two. And as you can see, since I only have three points my grab drive, it takes longer to power up and longer to cycle through. Look how pretty that is. Thank you. Okay, scan that. And we are going to land.
Welcome to Aquila City. Funny how Aquila City reminds me of neon, with the wealth planted in the middle. Alright, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. Sam will be locked as your follower if you continue. So, Sam will be my follower for this mission line, uh, but as soon as it's done, I can get Sarah back, like, right away if I decide not to work with him. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. So we find this empty nest and then the artifact. Hold on a second. I just need to bask in your celebrity status. Solomon Co. is your ancestor. Your family built Aquila City. Why not just use a planet scan to find it? Um... Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. All right, see you later, Sarah. I love the music. All right, so Aquila City, much different. Much different than the other city. And Neon, much different By than this. Of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you, we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. If people are in danger, then I want to help. I'll keep that in mind. What's the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. It's the Vanderlyn gang. Is Marshal Blake in charge of security? Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. Ah, dang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. All right, um, if people are in danger, then I want to help. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Sam Co Frankly, liked that. It ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Kila City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. Like who? Not you. Not one of your rangers. Let's say feel quick, just in case I mess this up. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> you need to stand back now. Sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. But you do know my now friend Sam Coe. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Coe. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different perception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. I'm glad I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. 
They must have made some demands by now. Sounds like they got the drop on you pretty good. <laughs> Embarrassing. The Shaw Gang? They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Maybe I can talk some sense into them. If I could slip in unseen, I could take them out quick. Um, I'm not a stealthy stealthy, so I'm gonna talk some sense into them. Mm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, <laughs> there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. De-escalate. All right. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. That's where I can see around here is a joke. Nothing. All right, we're going to save again. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just going to walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. This only works if we're willing to cooperate. Let's just get this over with. First, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. What's your name? Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Good to meet you, Jed. I'm Light. Well, ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? Persuade. I give you my word, Jed. I just want to help. Trust me, the Marshal did. <laughs> yeah, that'll get him to trust us. All right, let's persuade him. I don't know you. So why should your word mean anything to me? Fair enough. Let me convince you. I'm not in anyone's side here. What the hell do I care? Trust me or don't, it doesn't change the fact that you're surrounded and trapped. All right, so if you notice, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars to fill up in three turns. So... Um... Sam Co said de-escalate, so I'm gonna go with the safe route and I'm gonna go one. I ain't Oops. <laughs> Not the safe route. Um, I understand that you don't trust me, but right now I'm your only lifeline. I'm sure you're ready for a change of scenery by now. Frankly, I don't need your trust. I've got the marshal and the guards on my side. They've all got real itchy trigger fingers. I might be the only thing keeping the marshal and his boys from bringing a very violent end to the situation. Whoa! Take it easy there. Heck yeah! Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. Wait, nice, I just won that? happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. Okay. Tell me your demands. Must be something you want, so start talking before I get bored. What's the condition of the hostages? Let's start there. Talk too damn much. Complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us has shot one yet. Tell me your demands. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? It could take a while to get you a ship. That's a pretty tall order. How do I know you'll keep your word? What, do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! It could take a while to get you a ship. Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. All right, Persuade, it's not too late to end this peacefully. I'll pass along your demands to the Marshal. I've heard enough. This is a waste of time. Let's try to Persuade again. Can I save again? Nope. <laughs> Surrender now before anyone gets hurt and things will be a lot better for you. You might as well let the prisoners go. You think they're keeping you safe, but they're not. Uh, I don't think he'll believe that one. It's up to the marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. Stand down now and punishment could still be light. The marshal's going to keep those hostages safe, whatever it takes. Let them go before he has to take drastic action against you. There's no good outcome for you here. If you give up now, at least you still have your lives. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with the three. 
Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. What? That's life. Even if one hostage dies, your robbery charge becomes a murder charge. You don't want that to happen. The hostages did nothing wrong. Don't make them pay for your mistakes. You know the marshal can't let you get away with this. Um, maybe we can speak to his sense of, like, fear versus his sense of caring for the hostages, because he doesn't seem to care for the hostages. But he might care about what happens to him. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Nobody's been hurt yet. Surrender now, and the judge might go easy on you. Don't force the marshal to make an example of you. Maybe you're right. Nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. Even if one hostage dies? Okay, so we already said that one. What if your hostages have families? You really want to deprive children of their parents? The marshal's going to keep those hostages safe. Whatever. Okay, so we already know that that one didn't work. I'm kind of curious to see if this one works. We know this one works, but that's still only a one-pointer. So let's try this one. You have to believe me. We never meant to take hostages. Surrender now before anyone gets hurt and things will be a lot better for you. All right, let's try it. Yeah. Whew, that was a close that one. Be a lot worse. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. Samco like that. Samco is my my romance in Good my guys, review I'm playthrough. I can tell. What's the word? It's over. They agreed to come quietly. I hope you've got a nice reward for me, Marshall, because I just saved the day. The amateurs folded like a house of cards. Um, we're gonna do it's over. They agreed to come quietly. Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? I convinced them it was the right thing to do. I won them over with my irresistible charm. I scared them into submission. You didn't think I could do it? I convinced them it was the right thing to do. Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. 3,000 credits right. for that. Another miles on the line. Let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Shimon. All right. Let's change. Back to this mission. Marco! Are you all right? They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. I'm okay. I, I just need a minute. We left Sidonia looking for a better life, only to end up like this. It just ain't fair. Well, you're okay now, Marco. Nothing happened. For Sam, a nose grub paperweight, a stylized desk fan, and a coffee glass. Let's read the note. Okay, a note for Sam. Sam, I know you and your friends were going to come plunder your heritage at some point. You want those maps? You know where to find me. Jacob. Uh oh. Jacob. 
Of course that old mule saw this coming. Sounds like we need to talk to him. I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. Huh? <laughs> Who's Jacob? Why'd he take the map? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Sounds like we need to talk to him. Do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Persuade Sam level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. No sense delaying it. We need those maps. We could take a break, let you brood in a dark corner somewhere. <laughs> Why would Cora be mad? Because I told her we wouldn't have time to check in with her. Look, I was trying not to do this, okay? All right, let's try to persuade him. We really gotta do this. We really do. We really gotta do this. We're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find out. Open up to me, Sam. Come on. I bet Cora would tell me. Why don't I go over and ask? <laughs> I have a feeling that wouldn't go over well. It's clearly a family member. Why don't you just tell me? All right. Um, I feel like this makes the most sense. You're not wrong. We can't work together if you don't trust me. Open up to me, Sam. Come on. Don't do the tough di guy act with me. Talk. Um, let's try this one. Ah, uh... damn. It's not ah. supposed to be your business. That's what I'm saying. Look, I'm done talking. Fine. We'll find out soon enough, okay? Let's just get going. If I'm gonna find out soon enough, just tell me. They got some strict security in there, huh? <laughs> I wonder why the Shaw gang thought they could take them over. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. My brother-in-law just got back from two weeks in Paradiso. The place looked amazing, but if I have to look at one more vacation photo, I'm gonna clean his clock. <laughs> Go to Paradiso. The music here reminds me of Orgrimmar's music from WoW. <laughs> Hello, Jacob. Oh. Oh, now we got a Wild West theme going. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? What's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation Lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Who you calling Lackey? Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. <laughs> um, yes, I am. This isn't about you or your ancestry. It's bigger than that, bitch. Whoa, don't drag me into this. Sam Coe, I got as much right to those maps as anyone. Just why do you hate each other so much anyway? I feel like this isn't really my business right now. So we're gonna let Sam Coe take the lead. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. So the cool thing, we didn't see this because I didn't walk around my ship at all, but um, him and Cora are just like hang out on my ship. Like if I didn't come straight here for this quest and I flew other places when he said like, oh, we'll hang out until you're ready. He literally meant it. Like they're actually on my ship just living, which is really cool. Give me a sec. <sighs> he had to take his belly breath. That's right. what I teach baby Let's light. Options. I could speak to Jacob. He might see reason. 
The maps have to be somewhere. You distract him. I can look around. He mentioned his granddaughter. Maybe Cora could help. You need a minute? Want to talk about what just happened? No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes. Every time. Alright, um... I don't think he'll like me trying to bring Cora into this. He seems very protective of her. So, let's steal them. Okay. That's not bad. Just, uh, give me a minute to brace myself, okay? Round two with the old mule can be even worse than round one. Next time you talk to Jacob, tell him I want a word with him. That'll be our cue. You slip away and I'll keep him busy. Optional, ask Cora for help. Optional, talk to Jacob and have Sam distract him. Optional, talk to Jacob. Wait, what was the last one? Optional, talk to Jacob and persuade him. Hmm. Let's try to persuade him. I'm having fun with that and I want practice with it. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again. You're a real charmer. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Sam's your son. You don't want to help him? Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. The sooner you agree, the sooner we're out of your house. Hand it over, now! Um, let's try Sam's your son. You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. The sooner you agree, the sooner we're out of your house. <laughs> Heck yeah! Maybe you're right. I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. <laughs> wow! You can have your maps. He really Maybe can't stand his son. Key. Key. You're welcome, Sam. else in here I can steal? Exotic wood decoration. Oh! <laughs> I hope they make actual plushies based off of this because there are some really cute ones. Wait till you see my favorite. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Don't say things like that. My anxiety is bad enough as is. <laughs> that is so me. That is so me. Heck no. We can handle it. Well, Optimism. You ain't wrong. Well, let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbag. Bringing outlaws justice sounds like fun work. Damn, I was hoping we were done with them. Criminals with our artifact, they better not break it or sell it. How are they surviving outside the walls? Well, clearly they have guns. I like this one. Bringing out lost justice sounds like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Uh, pfft. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Okay, fine. Let's get to Shit. that cave. Excuse me, Sam. Jacob. Why do you have an astrolabe on the ground? Oh, I mean a sextant. Not bad. Okay, we need to get outside this city. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. Even for us. All right, so let's um, let's do it like this, so that way I can show you how to do this. So, if you want, you can. Um, travel to the emptiness. Okay. 
you can fast travel, like since this is an icon, we can just land there. But the other thing you can do that's really cool is if you're like exploring the planet um, and you want to try to explore a different area, you can just like click wherever you want that's not in the water. So let's say I wanted to land here. I could just click there and I could just travel there. So that's pretty cool. But we're gonna... We're gonna travel there. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, there it is. I was like, I hear it. That happens all the time. Ships will just take off, they'll land. You can go steal those ships. You can get on them, you can jump on them. Oh, this gun isn't doing diddly squat against him. Maybe I shouldn't have started shooting it. I do that. That was highly effective. Is that turret? Oh god. Oh my god! What did I just blow up? Okay, apparently there's a turret over here, but I don't know where. I don't see it. right in. I don't have very many bullets for any of these guns. Oh my god, there's a freaking mech. Speaking of not a lot of bullets. aid we have that's not restores three health or two recovery that could be helpful I need the cheese don't eat the cheese A lot of 
people here. Take a good step. Aye, aye, Captain Sam. This is your favorite part, he says, but then you gave me a hard time about saying we got we were gonna bring bad guys to justice. Oh, we make a hell of a team. I feel like the range on this blows. Apparently there's two people behind us. I feel like I should take them out first. Before they flank us. Keep it together. Fall back. Or are they inside? Just whiffing. Just whiffing like crazy. Let's try one of these. Oh, you do throw mine, just not very far. Well, that's not very helpful. Where are you? in the hills. Oops. How did they survive that? They were literally standing right there. What the heck? Space trucker flannel. I don't really like the mines. I'm not going to pick those up. They're fine if you can, like, pre make your strategy, but. this. Oh. That could be nice. Let's check that out real quick. So the coachman is 57. What did we just get? Hand loading Eon. Um... So we'll replace that. Where's the, oh, the Asha Tamer. Let's put that up here. And then what is this one? Minus 15% while on planet, so we're not gonna worry about that. Equinox, laser cartridge. Okay, Sam, go, good job. That. We need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Damn it. Get back here. Let me kill you. Turns your flashlight on. We only have five bullets left. Zero bullets there. Five bullets there. Oh, this is great. my
that laser thing from the beginning. I could be getting those right now. That doesn't work when you just see the... Like, the nodes out on the planet. So I don't know if it works in the caves, but... It definitely doesn't work when you just see them on the planet's surface. You don't want to see it? Particular is so pretty. kind of already looked, Sam, don't worry. I mean, there's that, but I can't hack it yet, or pick it yet, or whatever. Whatever it is you do with it yet. Okay, I didn't want those. Open workbench, don't really care about that right now. Take that, take that, take that, take that. Lots of good shit in here. Better we get it than someone else. Flavors. I'm gonna live here. <laughs> Maybe cherry vanilla. <laughs> Maybe Dr. Pepper. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashto away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Persuade, we can work this out. No need for violence. The credits, mm, no, not paying you 4,000 credits. Let's try Persuade. Oh, really? Let's hear it. We've been having good luck so far. This is an important scientific discovery. Let us go and you'll be in the history books. I doubt she'll care about that. We got past all your crew before. You fight us, you lose. We got what we came for. You let us go. You never have to see us again. I don't think she's gonna like any of these. I prefer my enemies six feet under. <laughs> Ties up loose ends. I could try the auto persuade. Let's do that. I haven't tried that yet. Give me a second to think, will you? Wait. That only worked once? The only one gonna get hurt here is you. Sick of trading words with you. Oh, okay, good. Damn it! Just everything! The Ash are here now too? Great. Okay, 
so the auto persuade apparently doesn't auto persuade the whole way it just auto persuades the one level so that's good oh shit was not paying attention to my health apparently oops Okay, well, at least we get to try to persuade again. I think that's far enough. You must be sure. I'm gonna skip well, all this. Now you got past me. Grab something. Now, let's talk about what. Okay, let's try to persuade again. Oh, really? So. This is an important scientific discovery. Huh. What? The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a <laughs> Okay, did not expect that to work. All right, you let us leave now. We won't tell authorities where you are. Oh. So what? By morning tomorrow, we're gone anyway. Okay. I know you'd like to help me if you could. We got past all your crew before. You fight us, you'll lose. We got what you came for. Let us go. Mm. She's not gonna like any of these. <laughs> what? Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far. What? I'll admit. All right. Listen, I'm not going to complain. Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. All right. Fine I'll by see me. You again. You're dead. Sounds good. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. All right. Sure. I mean, we might as well. We could use the experience points. But let's get the high ground. So these are the Ashta. Just like a little lion-y type thing. They spit rocks. What? Damn. We're gonna quick save so I don't have to do that persuasion thing again. I shot the dead one. <laughs> All right. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Let's okay. See you don't mind getting your hands dirty. Definitely did not scan though, so not quite sure why they showed up scanned. But let's talk to Shaw and then loot the place. I guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Get out of here. Hell Before yeah. I change my mind. Thank you. What are you still doing? Out. There's nothing out there. It's probably because the robot was already used. All right, let's go loot their shit. Lucky it's not my call. I would have blasted the both of you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, we got some bullets. Uh, Tranquility Lemon Pack. I read that as Tequila Lemon Pack. I was very confused at first. Ooh, grenades. We can use those. Grenade. Don't care about the mines. Gonna leave those. Succulent. Definitely take that. Shocking welcome. Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the Ashta don't come around here, so outside of Aquila, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. heard of boxed wine before but I got here some genuine boxed beer okay can't jump through there <laughs> there's a roof over my head to 
toast. Grapes. Why did the music get ominous there when I did that? A lot of smugglers are just down on their luck, so maybe a little live and let live. What are they playing? Don't know. Poker? Take that sandwich. Lighter. Some sickies. This unit has served us very well, yet the time has come for us to admit that without a few new parts, our repairs are not going to last. If we want this to work more than a few days at a time, I'm going to need a new deformable nozzle, at least a functional reactive gauge, and some isotopic coolant to refresh the system. It's not much to ask for all of us, and for this loyal unit, please find these parts. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, connect, 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 connect. Membrane. Such a weird word. Tag, you're it. Congratulations, you have noticed our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in this dry Aquila heat. I know I am, and I am sure your friends are too. The test that before you is now to go into town and get some more beer. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now go. Football extravaganza. All right, cool. Let's go. Um, fast travel back to our ship. I come drop. We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. travel back to the lodge. Oh, that's cool. You can domesticate some plants for your outposts. I haven't really done anything with outposts yet. or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe nice. it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. All right, um, I would love to work with Sam because I really, really like Sam, but if I'm trying to keep this as blind and different as possible, I need to work with somebody else. 
So I'll catch you later, Sam. Likewise. You know where to find us. Have any new books for me? All right, let's take a look at our skill points because we've got a couple of them at this point. Um, let's see. I haven't gotten into any ship fights since getting this piloting one, so can't do that. I can upgrade my lock picking. I feel like that's always good. Let's at least get the first level of this, level of this so we can use the boost pack. Okay. Ship targeting functionality. Astrodynamics lets you jump further. Okay, I can't upgrade that yet anyways. I can do more ballistics. And I can't do more lasers yet. The persuasion could be good. We haven't been struggling with it too badly, but that could be good. Let's do health. I feel like you can't go wrong with health. Theft, scavenging, persuasion. I think I almost want to focus on science and my ship. Damage and recharge 30% faster. Damage to individual systems. Okay. And let's just. I'm confused. Rank two available. I did the lock challenge. Okay, that's glitching out a little bit. Okay, I guess we're not doing that. <laughs> Can't upgrade that yet. So, what are we doing? Get more common and uncommon inorganic resources from surface objects. All right, let's do that. Oh, I don't have any skill points left. Oh. Okay. I thought I had three. Apparently. I don't know what I did. Never mind then. All right, guys. I am going to stop there. Um, so I do. I love Sam Co as a character. Highly recommend him as a companion. Um, for the most part, he's a pretty good character and easy to keep pleased with you uh, because there are certain actions that companions like or don't like um, so I'm sure you noticed because I called it out a bunch if you do certain things you'll get a little pop-up that so-and-so liked that so Samco is one of those people that's like very much likes when you look out for other people um, so he's pretty easy to please in that regard um, there really wasn't a ton where I did something in my review save that he didn't like, um, but I'm curious to see, I'm going to keep Sarah for now. I'm curious to see what Sarah's likes and dislikes will be because each character has their own personality and they're going to have their own things that they look for in your character. Um, so I feel like Sarah is going to be more like do whatever you need to do to get the job done type of personality, whereas, whereas Sam Coe's like, yeah, we need to get the job done, but we also need to look out for the little guy. Um, so I'll be curious to see how Sarah is different in that regard. Also, if you want to get more technical with it, each companion has a different build that they're helpful with. So um, there's like companions that are more for like ship battles and ship builds. There's companions that are more um, like Sam Co was more like um, surveying, geology, ballistics, that sort of thing. So depending on your build, you can work with a character that fits that the best. I just do it based off the ones who I like and whose dialogue I like and whose personalities I like. Um, but I do think it's cool because every character genuinely has a different personality. Um, you kind of saw that with Fallout 4 
in a little bit in Skyrim, but for the most part, those characters felt very like static. Like it didn't really matter who you had. Occasionally they would get a pop up and they would be like in Fallout 4, they'd be like, so-and-so didn't like that. Um, but for the most part, they like, they were a companion, but they were just kind of along for the ride. They're very immersive in this. So what I mean by that is like, you have options to use them in dialogue. Um, they will just chime into conversations. And again, that did happen in Fallout 4. They definitely started to dabble in that with Fallout 4. Um, but I feel like it feels more realistic here, feels more genuine here. Um, and there will be <laughs> there will be times like in main quests where they'll say something and then the person that you're like interacting with for the main quest will be like, actually act annoyed at them. Um, it doesn't impact your quest in any way when they make like those kind of side comments that you don't have control over, but the person that you're interacting with will change their demeanor. So I think that's really cool. Um, and it just shows you how much detail is actually in this game. And it's just crazy. So I'm really excited to work with someone else to see what they're like, but I do love Sam Co. I love Sam Co. So highly recommend Sam if you are playing this yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.